Hi everyone. And today I'm going to be teaching you how you can add in confirmation prompts to your Django admin prompts when you are dealing with changes within your model attributes. So for example, let's say you have a field and you want to confirm changes made to that field. So let's say for example, you have an email field and a security code field that is part of a model such as person and you want to confirm changes that are being updated to these fields specifically to their values. So let me go ahead and show you how this process will unfold. So let's say we have a person model and I want to add a person object and I'm going to give a few attributes here. I'm going to call this person uh, Charlie uh, Smith. AG, I'm going to say 20 and the email here is going to be charlie.smith um, at gmail.com. Security code is going to be, let's say 100 and I'm going to say save. Okay, so that is my object done. Now, with this logic and functionality here, I'm going to add in a confirmation field for the email and security code, should I wish to change it. So if I go back to the person here, and let's say I decide to change the email here from charlie.smith, and I'm gonna add in a two here, and I were to say save, it's gonna come up with a confirmation prompt here that's going to double check and, and ask me, are you sure that you want to change the current value here of charlie.smith at gmail.com to charlie.smith2 at gmail.com from the email field, which I have stipulated here in my rules. So it's gonna confirm that for me. If I were to say no, continue to edit, I can head on back. And as you can see, I can change this back to what it was as is. Now let's say, for example, I change the security code and I just set this to 99 and I say save, it's going to then see, okay, the current value was 100, you change it to 99. And this was on the security code, it's gonna confirm here, are you sure you wanna change that security code as I stipulated here in the confirmation field? and I can say yes to confirm it or no to edit. If I say yes, it's gonna take the new value. So if I say yes and I go back, it's gonna take that new value. Okay, so you can also go ahead and set it for both of them at the same time. So if I update both of these to, let's say for example, to 190 and 190, and say save, that confirmation is gonna come up for both of those fields since I specified them here in my logic. All right, so that's what we're going to be learning in this video tutorial. Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on adding in confirmation prompts to Django admin changes, additions, and actions. So if I were to give you a simple example here, as we can see by this picture here, let's say for example, we have a price field and the current value that we've set on that price field is 45. And let's say we decide to edit that particular value of that price field. What's gonna happen is as soon as we decide to save that model, it's going to come up with a confirmation prompt that's going to be based on changing that particular value and if you want to do so. So this is a confirmation, um, you could say prompt on our Django admin um, model um, fields. So let's go further in this video tutorial. Now, the first thing you need to have before you get started is of course a Django project. And to be a little bit more detail here with you is you need to ensure that you have a model .py file here with a model that you want to utilize to test this um, library with. So in my case here, I have a person model and I want to specifically test the email field and the security code field for confirmation changes. So this works at the field level or the attribute level you could say. So what you want to confirm before saving. So it's very useful for fields that um, you don't really want to change or those that are a little bit more sensitive for example. So this is a good use case for that. But anyway, what we can do is go ahead and make our migration. So choose a, a model in your own project. And now what we can do is head on over to our terminal and I'm going to say Python manage.py make migrations. Okay, I've created that model person and now I want to go on ahead and migrate that particular model. There we go, so I've migrated that model, perfect. So that's the first thing that you need to do before you continue. All right, so make sure that you've gone ahead and you have um, created a model or you have a model and that you migrated it to your database. 
Okay, perfect. So now what we can do is get started with this library. So what we can do is go ahead and clean our terminal and we can just run pip install django admin confirm to install this library within our django project. Great. Once it's been installed, you can scroll down to the installation section here. As you can see, we've already gone ahead and installed Django Admin Confirm. Now what we need to do is we need to add the following app, which is admin underscore confirm, to our list of installed apps. And it needs to be before the Django contrib.admin so that it can override the default properties. Right. So what we can do is copy this app head on over to our application and then you want to navigate to your settings.py file and then you can scroll down to your list of installed apps now make sure that you add this right above um, django.contrib.admin in other words it should be the first app in your list essentially so make sure you've added that in right at the top and that you have saved your file all right so we've got that set now what we can do is we can go ahead and open up our model now so we can go to our app so my app is called crm and i'm going to open up my models.py file and right next to it my admin.py file now of course what's important is that i import my model here which is my person model so what i can do is the following i can just say from and i can say dot because our admin.py file and the models.py file is in the same directory so i can just refer to it as models then i can say import and i want to import the person um, model here so i'm just going to say person all right so that's the first thing that you need to set up and get ready now the next thing that we need to do is we need to import model admin and this is going to assist us to go ahead and enact this django admin confirm onto the fields of our model so what we can do is we can go ahead and say from the django.contrib.admin module i want to import model admin so let's just uh, make this a bit bigger so we can see so make sure you've added in this statement now the next thing that we need to do is we need to head on over back to the documentation here and you can scroll up and this is the usage the typical usage that we can add in so i'll explain this as we add this in so i can copy that and i'm going to paste that in so let's just ensure that we are in line so i'm just going to tab it to the left hand side so as you can see here we um, previously added in that admin underscore confirm app so from that admin underscore app slash library we are importing the admin confirm mix in which is going to allow us to have confirmation change fields per field or the fields we desire so here we can see that there is a base class being created passing in the admin confirm mix in with model admin and here are the properties explicitly for this library confirm underscore change is set to true which means it's allowing us to make use of a confirm prompt of sorts to confirm actions in our django admin and the confirmation fields here are field one field two as an example so we need to just restructure this to fit our person model and our requirements so i'm going to switch the name here to person admin to make it more understandable we need to leave the admin confirm mix in from the functionality and model admin as well confirm underscore change needs to be set to true by default because that defeats the purpose that's what we need we want to make confirmations based on changes to field objects and the confirmation fields here we're going to set it let's see what is uh, we can say email and security code so field one i'm going to set as email and field two i'm going to set as security underscore code and let's just double check yeah these are the fields that i want to confirm if i'm making a change to them so make sure you've gone ahead and set that up now the last thing that we need to do is very simple is we just want to register our person model along with this person admin that we have constructed this class with the mix in added in so what we can do at the bottom here is we can just say admin.site.register and I'm going to pass through person along with person admin. All right, so make sure you've done that. So that's very important. That's the crucial part for this functionality. So make sure you've added in the following as I have shown on the screen. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can just create a super user to check all of this out and test it. So I'm going to say python manage.py create super user. 
And I'm going to set it as Arno, email blank, add in a password. And again. And let me just run pysetmanage.py, run server. Okay, great. And now I'm going to go to log into Django Admin. So make sure now that you've entered in your credentials. All right, so everything is in place now. So let's go ahead and log in. Let's navigate to our person model. And now let's go ahead and create our objects. I'm going to say add person and enter in some details. So I'm going to say John for the first name, last name Smith, age 24, email. I'm going to say John dot smith at gmail.com and security code I'm going to set as 100. Okay, so just keep in mind the details here so you can see very important, especially the email security code. Make sure you keep an eye on that. So john.smith at gmail.com security code 100 and you can see the other details. So let's say save. Perfect. Let's head on back to that object. And now this confirmation field is going to be enacted on the email and security code. Let me show you exactly how. If I were to change the first name, last name and age, so I'm just going to say John Jacobs, Smizzy and 25. And let's say I say save, it's going to make those changes because remember, we didn't set the confirmation field on the other fields, which we have first name, last name and age explicitly on the email and the security code. So now if I head on back and go to that object, I'm gonna change it back first of all. And I'm just gonna save it again to back to what it was. And you can see you can update those, field, those fields easily. Now let's change the email for example, and I'm gonna say john.smith2, and I'm gonna say save. Then the confirmation prompt comes up as we so desire based on the field, which we stipulated right here. And the current value is john.smith at gmail.com. And the new value is gonna be john.smith2 at gmail.com. All right, so you can see here there is a change. Okay, it's gonna pick up the current value and what you want to change it to. Now, if I say no, continue to edit, I can just go back and yes, I'm sure it's going to confirm it and change it for me to the new value. Now, if I say no, continue to edit, I'm just going to remove it back to just john.smith at gmail.com and say save. Everything's going to be fine. So it picks up if you have changed it back to the original value to which there's no need for a confirmation because you're not changing it. Now, if I change the security code, for example, and let's set that to 99. And let's say I say save. The same confirmation is going to come up. It's going to say for the security code field, which I have stipulated right here. Okay, the current value is set to 100. The new value is set to 99. Okay, so essentially speaking now, okay, it's going to change it for me. If I say yes, no, it's going to keep it. So now I would just need to remember to change it back to the original value and I can say save. Okay. So now let's go ahead and change both of them. So I'm going to change this to john.smith2 at gmail.com and the security code I'm going to change to 99. Change both fields. Say save. It picks it up that I've changed both fields from the initial value that I set when I created the object. Now if I say yes, I'm sure, it's going to go ahead and change that for me. Okay, so that is how we can essentially use this particular um, um, a library to make our changes. Now, as you can see, you can also change them independently as you saw, and you can change them together. It's really up to you, but it will pick up which um, fields here that you've selected, the email and the security code field to be um, clear. All right, so that's very important to just keep in mind here. So that's how you can use this package. I think it's very helpful, very effective. So that's how you can use the Django admin confirm package. Now, as always, thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you in my next video. So that's it, and goodbye. See ya.